Hey, this is Jeff from Jeff Race to the Top. I purchased the vehicle, trying to do some repairs to it, trying to flip it in essence. But doing more research on it, running the van. I should have done that before I bought it, but it is what it is. It's, it's got a lot of issues with it. I knew the blow motor was blown up. The front end, when I was looking at it, I knew it was in a slight accident. But when, again, running the van, it, it, it came from a salvage yard. So it, it has a clean title, which is weird. I thought it would have came with a reconstructed title, but I guess title transfer process from where it came from was a little different. But anyway, I don't feel comfortable selling it. And not only that is, it's got the 2.7 in it. I thought, I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to call either, you know, a, a used motor, used parts place, but LKQ wanted $3,000 plus dollars for, for the 2.7. I was like, holy moly, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to buy that. So what I, I've done a little bit of research and found that the 3.5 slides in there really easy. So all you need is to make sure that the 3.5 has the, its factory motor mount uh, brackets in there and then you can buy the 3.5 motor mounts and put them in there and it'll fit in there. I also need the 3.5 wiring harness and it'll supposedly plug right into that. So. I'll, and the only difference is the from a four speed to a five speed automatic trans, the oil pan just matches up a little different. So I just got to do a little bit of research on that and make sure that it'll fit. Um, so I'm going to take a trip out to Harry's and, and just run a bunch of VIN numbers and uh, see what, you know, obviously what kind of four speed or five speed trans it has. Because I, I can't, I couldn't really tell the difference looking at it. Uh, I guess there's a number plate that you can look at too, but uh, I guess I'll find that eventually. But there's the car in the background. I don't know if you can see it that well. It's an 08 Dodge Charger. Again, it has the 2.7 in it. And I didn't think that motor would be that expensive. I'm like, holy moly. And then the history of the car. Uh, I don't feel comfortable just reselling that one as is, so I'll take a loss on that one. But, hey, I got more content for it, right? Um... I don't want to turn this into a dirt car. I was thinking about maybe turning it into a drag car, take it to like Echo and see what it could do with the 3.5 and, and blow it up over there. It, hopefully it doesn't, but you know, you get what I'm saying. Um, I'm only here today to, to make an explanation on that and to pretty much give an update. So I got a lot of content for the winter time. I got a lot of content that I can, I can create and hopefully make it better. I want to, like I said, I want to, I want to keep this race oriented to yeah keep it race oriented i guess all right um so the only reason i'm really down here is i'm, I'm gonna clean the bmw just just basically winterize it and again i got more plans for it while i'm at the junkyard i'm gonna look, look at parts for this thing i decided to keep it instead of getting another body so i was doing the math it probably and not only not just the math in it the time and effort so I mean, I got a, I got a, what's it called? Gut the uh, new one if I was going to get it and throw that, cut out the cage that I have in there and throw it into the new one. So I'm like, eh, is it worth it or not? Priced out a couple of subframes at the junkyard. I'm like, all right, for like four or 500 bucks, I can get two front subframe or a subframe for the front, a subframe for the rear and a diff for pretty much a, a shell of a car. I mean, I can't find... I couldn't find a decent used car for uh, under a thousand bucks for that one anyway. So I think I'm going to keep that and uh, again, just keep that one and, and fix it. It's been, it's been a pretty good race car and, and do that. And then sometime, I don't know about this winter, but I need to fix this Honda, put the fuel line in it and get a cage for that one so I can go to the, the Linda's once a year race for that one because that looks really fun. I've been there twice. I want to participate the third time. So that's my plan. Like I said, this is just an update video. It's just going to be a short one of what I'm trying to do for next year's contest stuff. So I got a lot. I got a lot. A lot of plans, not a lot of money. So this is what I'm trying to do. Hopefully I'll have some in the future. I'm not going to, you know, put a Patreon or anything like that. I'm just going to make some good content and go out there and start talking to people and, and just try and grow the channel. Anyway, that's my goal. And hopefully it pans out. I just got to I just got to put a lot of legwork into it and hopefully it works out. I'll wish me luck and uh, if you watch this till the end, a like, share, and a subscribe would do me greatly. But until then, I'll see you at the racetrack. Thank you.